Okay team, as promised, a quick instructional video on how to play dodgems on the water, aka the collision rules. Now a couple of caveats. First one is I'm only in this video going to explain power to power vessel. Secondly, everyone needs to understand that no vessel has the right of way on the water. It's called stand on vessel and give way vessel. The stand on vessel is supposed to maintain his course and speed, observe the give way vessel and ensure that the give way vessel gives way. If the give way vessel fails to give way, then the onus reverts to the stand on vessel to take avoid in action. So everybody on the water has a responsibility to avoid a collision, no matter what direction anybody's coming from. And finally, if you want to actually learn how to determine if you're actually on a collision course with another vessel, I made an instructional video. If you check out my profile, you'll be able to see that's quite a good little trick um, to tell if you're actually on a collision course with another vessel. Anyway, let's get into this. Okay, so there's not too many rules to remember. It's actually fairly straightforward. The first one is nice and easy, give way to your right. So here we have the give way vessel and here we have the stand on vessel who should maintain his course and speed. One way I also remember it is I imagine if they turn on their navigation lights. So if you're in this vessel here and you're looking across and you can see the port side, well, that's a red navigation light and red at traffic lights means stop. You're over here, you look across, you see green, green means go. Therefore, you are the stand on vessel, continue your course, maintain your speed, but keep a watch, as I said earlier, and you're the giveaway vessel. And the accepted general course of action is to turn to starboard and pass astern of the stand on vessel. However, any avoiding action is satisfactory, but it's encouraged in the rules. Turn to starboard, pass astern of the uh, stand on vessel. Next is the overtaking rule. And in this situation, vessel A is overtaking vessel B and vessel A is the give way vessel. Now you don't have to turn to any particular side when you're overtaking, you can overtake on the port or the starboard side, it doesn't matter as long as you understand that you remain the give way vessel until you're past and clear of the stand on vessel. So no shooting past him and then cutting in front of the bow. And That's finally, bad. what we can see here is a head on situation and here the correct course of action is both vessels turn to starboard. Now, this is to avoid something similar to that awkward supermarket aisle shuffle. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. But doesn't end so well at 40 knots. So hopefully the other vessel knows what they're doing and they know the rules. And that's why we make a nice early and substantial turn to starboard just to indicate our intentions to the other vessel. And hopefully they'll pick up on that. So look, that's pretty much all the important rules now covered. Hopefully uh, that's made sense. Let's see how you get on in the next question I upload in a week or two.